Hello guys, it's Grace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be clearing out my shoe collection. I've got a load of random shoes in here from like probably four years ago that I just don't wear. And I feel like the time has come where I've got to be brutal and I've just got to sack off a load of shoes. I did, I think it was like maybe a week or two ago, I did a um wardrobe declutter you'll recognize the wardrobes who watched it so i guess you could call this a little bit of a series i do want to do a makeup drawers declutter as well so if that is something you'd want to see make sure you hit the like button darling darling just calm down i'm just praying the dog doesn't start barking again not my dog maybe it's barking every time i speak i'm thinking most of them that i'm looking at are ones that i'm actually going to sell my depop so I said in my last one I'm going to start selling clothes on Depop after lockdown. But it turns out the post offices are open and Hermes do like a parcel drop thing. So I'm thinking either I'm going to go to the post office once a week. Definitely check out my Depop or any of the clothes that I cleared out in my last video. Um, but yeah, I'm having a massive sale over there. So this is the first pair of shoes that I haven't seen on the pile. These are actually a recent purchase. Some may say these are ugly, but I think they're so cool. They just remind me of the 70s, like the massive chunky shoe. And they make me like so much taller as well, which I love. I don't think I want to part ways with these anytime soon. I think they're really nice anyway. They're from ASOS. Um, I really like these. The next pair of shoes I've spotted, I think, are ones that are going to go. They're literally the most basic suede ankle boots. They're from ASOS as well. I think these are going to go in the Depop pile. Just because, again, I don't really wear them. I did get a lot of wear out of these one winter, but yeah, they're not really my vibe. Next pair of shoes I have are from Topshop. I think I bought these once for a Christmas party. However, I'm not too sure on them. Um, the colour's a bit weird. I don't know if I like the colour of them, but they're really comfy, like, and they're high. Like, for high heels, they're actually really comfy. It's quite high quality as well. They're not cheapy. They don't feel cheap. I think I'm actually going to keep these, even though I don't get a lot of wear out of them. I feel like my time is not up with them yet. These ones I'm really not sure about. Rose gold, which isn't really in fashion anymore, but they're rose gold with um, pink. I think I got these in, like, 2017. Um, and I've not really worn them. I think I'm going to ask my mum for her advice on these because I'm not too sure. My last Nicola, she always knows the right answer. Next pair of shoes are these ASOS wedges. I bought these on holiday and I would tie them around my waist and they would just, my, my waist, what, like, like dangle it around. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'd tie this around my ankles and it would just fall off. My feet just don't work well with lace-up shoes. I tried so many times to wear like, lace-up heels and they never work. I always buy them and then I just end up getting rid of them because they just don't work on my feet. And people, I see people wearing them. I just don't get how because they always come undone on me, like literally without fail, always. Um, but these are actually really cute. They tie up into like a little bow as well at the back, which is why I like them in the first place. I just, I don't mesh well with this sort of shoe. This pair of shoes are actually really nice. I just don't. I just don't like rose gold anymore. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. These are kind of like the perfect heel. I my style then, but they're just not. Yeah. Next pair of shoes I'm really torn on because part of me wants to sell them and put the money towards a pair of different ones I've seen on there. But then part of me is like, these are actually quite good sandals. So they're these cream Zara um, strappy sandals. I've seen a nicer pair on Zara that are like white with a bigger heel and I think I'm more likely to wear them whereas this heel I just find it a little bit awkward. I got these because I saw them on so many like, like those Swedish vloggers they just remind me of them. I think I'm going to keep these and then if they don't get worn this summer I'm going to probably sell them but they are really nice. I think they're a keeper. Next pair of shoes I have are a pair of slide on espadrilles. Definitely Chanel vibes with these however they don't really fit me properly. They're a bit too big. I only bought these last year as well, so they're in very good condition. Next pair of shoes you may remember if you were if you're an OG. I only really stopped wearing them like probably a couple months ago. I just I'm just not keen anymore. Like, do you remember when sock boots were so in fashion? They're like these red sock boots with black heels. And I thought I was so cool in these. I don't even know why. I just really liked them with like jeans and stuff. They are cute and they're very flattering as well. They make your legs look so long. But like they make you look like they make you look like Sydney Crawford, even if you're like five foot four like me. Um, they're so flattering. I just don't wear this colour. Red is not my colour and I'm not a fan of the sock boot trend anymore. And I don't see myself wearing these again. So these just aren't my vibe anymore. I don't know. 
I don't know. They're just not really my sort of vibe. I think someone else will really love these. They're actually really cool with like the diamonds and stuff. I just sort of want to make room for maybe some new pairs of shoes because I'm not being funny. After this video, I'm going to have like not a lot of pairs of shoes. I keep going meh about every pair of shoes and I feel like the woman off of 90 Day Fiance. If you know who I'm talking about, you know. You know the TikTok trend where it's like, I like the view. You do? And then she goes, meh. That's what I feel like. You probably think I'm mental if you don't know what I'm going on about, but if you watch TikTok, you know. Next pair of shoes are from Office and they are honestly like so well made, I can't even tell you. I sort of held on to these thinking, oh, I can wear them to like sixth form if I go, like if I start working. Obviously, I'm still doing YouTube and I didn't go to sixth form to college. I am going to be sad to let them go. I think I'm going to put these on the Depop, but I can't even tell you how good quality these are. Like, they're so well made, like the sole is like rock hard. I think they're leather as well, so really nice quality shoes. They don't rub or anything, it's just sort of outgrown. They've outgrown my wardrobe. Next pair of shoes are these black boots, which I think I bought because they reminded me of the Louis Vuitton boots. They're so high, they've got this massive platform. They're such nice quality, which is a shame, but I just can't walk around in these anymore. Like, I'm done with it. I've I moved on to bigger and better things, these flat boots. Like, I cannot deal with this massive heel just to make me look a bit taller. Like, I'm fine with being short. Too high, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't walk around in a day in London in boots this high. I then have these Minnie Mouse sliders that I got for my trip to Florida. The thing is with these is I don't actually like this style of slider. Um, they're just not really my cup of tea. I never wore them when I was in Florida either. I kind of just put them in my suitcase. I remember just running around Primark buying anything Disney related. So <laughs> obviously I had to buy these. Well, no one's gone on any, no one's gone on any trips. But if you like Disney or in the future you want to go on a Disney trip, these would be so cute. Next pair of shoes I've got are actually the shoes I wore to my prom. I was looking for shoes and I was like, oh, I've actually got these ones which go perfectly with my dress. They made me look so tall on prom. Then I'm going to put these in my Depop, but I've only really worn them a handful of times. Next pair of shoes I have are actually um, a pair that I've sort of left in my wardrobe just because they look pretty, not because I actually wear them. I think I got them one Christmas. They're these rose gold bow shoes which are actually quite cute i just probably would never see me in these shoes again but they are really cute and i'm thinking like there's something just to keep in my wardrobe you get what i mean like i'll show my daughter these and be like yeah i had them when i was like 14. do you get me next pair of shoes i got off of shein i've never ever 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 stepped out the house in these like ever really soft on the inside so they don't rub you they're really comfy it's just I've never stepped out of the house in these and I feel like they're a bit too old looking for me but they give me like really Blair Wardle vibes that's why I've got them I just I've never worn them so next pair of shoes I think I'm gonna keep again I don't really wear these but the look of them like they're so cute I got these shoes for like so cheap from TK Maxx as well they're really cute and I think I got them for really cheap as well I've never worn these out though but for display like I wouldn't want to wear them to keep them nice how cute for display so i have these nasty girl shoes which are like new in the box they've literally never been worn but they're such nice quality like the heel fresh out of the box like there's wrapping still in them I've literally not worn these but these are probably going to go just because i want to put the money towards the ones i really want so i have two pairs of shoes that are the same but in different colors and i got these because they were dupes of bottega Bottega Veneta? I can't say it. I got the black ones and the nude ones. I'm just not sure I'm going to keep them. I'm realistically likely to pick them over these on a night out. Like, although these are cute for Instagram pictures that I take in my house, would I realistically wear these out? And I've got two pairs of them. And I'm thinking they're in, they're in literally tic-tac condition. Like, these have been worn around my house and these literally, I've not even got a picture in these ones. So I'm not too sure what to do. That is it for today's video. I hope you did all enjoy it. Make sure to like this video if you want me to clear out my drawers because they're in desperate need of a clear out. There's makeup in there that I literally just don't use. Subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.